welcome this is a video without script um, it's about the haplogroup R that means starting with the root R1 and then it's uh, sub haplogroups its descendants R1A R1A there probably was R1A all over here but after R1A came R1B and R1B uh, dominates uh, Western Europe um, Iceland and uh, also um, around the Yenisei River or behind behind means more east so differently than the haplogroup R in Africa which is very local which is surprisingly for our supposed ancestor here where the pointer is uh, B was more or less here um, even more locally than A uh, not to mention A00 and A0 that don't even occupy a region so what occupies in Africa uh, our supposed ancestor is A here in a very arid region it's uh, uh, people with quite um, small stature um, differently than the haplogroup R uh, and the same is for B they have small statues too and I interpret A being in an arid zones as that they had to uh, hide uh, height uh, where others would not follow very arid and the same for B they had to hide uh, uh, where others would not follow uh, in that case in very dense forest very humid uh, of course with a lot of biodiversity and not A nor B is apt to develop cultures, the places where they uh, uh, retracted uh, into. So they retracted, y you would not expect that for our ancestor that will populate all of the world. So R is different, here it's its root, R1 is the root that is of importance for us R3, R2 we leave out of this video for now it's only very local so what for us what represents R the root is R1 it's here in this region in North America and it gives rise to the descendants that I just men mentioned R1A and R1B, R1B, R1B but this is a different R1B than this R1B and I explained that that this R1B comes uh, through the North Atlantic Gyre and this one comes through the South Atlantic Gyre the same way I will explain later R2 it comes from the South Pacific Gyre through the South Pacific Gyre and R doesn't uh, follow a traditional route to the east because it's already very densely populated with uh, let's say um, a hybrid just before R so I show you <coughs> quickly this is more or less uh, Africa, uh, Sub-Saharan Africa 
and this is for A uh, retires to, withdraws to, and it's the Koi Sun. It's a uh, people, uh, ancient people, the, mo the most ancient of Africa, but with uh, small statues. And this is B, and as you see, it's Pygmy and Hadza, and it's also small uh, statues, especially when you compare to R, that has its roots in North America. So this is dense forest, very humid, uh, no uh, place convenient for cultures, and this is very arid, no place convenient for cultures, so they redraw in those places, the Africans, the, 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 the first Africans, uh, the native, the most native Africans. And then when you, when it comes to Adam, YDNA Adam, it's supposedly A00 and A0, and they don't even have a region, it's, it's, it's only cases. When you compare this with Q, then you see that Q is very uh, present all over the world. South America, 60 to 100 percent, while A and B in Africa, on their non-convenient uh, places, uh, very arid, very uh, forested, not convenient for cultures, so the Americans in general more convenient for cultures, except except a few uh, deserts, um, and permafrost. Um, so 60 to 100 percent those A and B in Africa were only 40 to 50 percent and occupy only uh, retracted in only 10 percent with very low population densities and here it's 60 to 100 percent it's much more and it's the whole of South America which is smaller than Africa but much bigger than the areas occupied by A and B and North America um, is almost as big as the whole of Africa uh, as you see Q was present in almost all of Eastern Eurasia or in Asia in the Middle East and later I will explain that uh, it was uh, substituted because it's a very old group it was substituted here by R that I cho showed you in the beginning and here it's substituted by uh, mostly by E not by A or B as we would expect because A and B, especially A, is the, our ancestor of all modern humans, supposedly. So Q present in very large area, contrary to A and even more to B that, that are present very locally in very low in regions populated with very low densities. Quickly resuming, this is Q and this is A. A. A, the biggest area is here in Southwest Africa. <coughs> very arid, desert-like, and here is a desert-like region because it's close to the Sahara. So to make it easy, A is here, um, 
retracted to survive. Eh? So this is what is left of uh, the most native Africans here. When you see Q, that's supposedly the latest, it is still present over mostly of the world. It's present in Europe as well. As you see, there's a low presence still in Africa. It was probably much more general. Uh, okay, so that is a strange um, fact for the latest and this very limited uh, presence is a strange fact for our supposed ancestor. This is a world map that shows all dominant haplogroups and again you see that Q, purple, dominates large part of the Americas which together are much bigger than Africa uh, especially much bigger than the area that A occupies which is uh, less than 10% of the area that Q occupies C is a descendant from Q so if you uh, join them then Q has a much bigger is extension and then you see that Q is next to C, Q is next to C, Q is next to C, so uh, Q and C, this is also C, Australia, occupy an important part of the world. Uh, I would say except Africa, except Western Europe, maybe except Western Eurasia and except in the East uh, uh, Indonesia and South Asia so but that's still both Americas important part of <coughs> Asia or Eastern Eurasia and Australia. So <coughs> this is a world map that represents the real area of each continent. So you see that North America comes quite close to Africa and is bigger than South America. But these three continents together are much bigger than the area occupied by A, which is an area with a very low population density and people with low stature. So if you add up C, which is a descendant of Q, and with D, which is a descendant of Q, then Q, C and D together occupy an uh, important part of the world. R is a descendant of Q as well, so it adds to the dominance of Q and its first, its oldest descendants. R is not an old descendant of Q, is a recent descendant of Q. You can see that there is an association between R and the Younger Dryas boundary, which is still in another place, I think. Okay, well, this is as, as well the Younger Dryas boundary, but here it's easier to see. Younger Dryas boundary associated with R. And later I will explain that the Younger Dryas boundary is formed 
or mate by haplogroup R and uh, that around 12,800 years BP you can see that A1A and A1B descend from R1 here R1 here A1A and A1B etc. David Reich <coughs> David Reich Origins of Human Humans and Culture This is chapter Zoom into Britain Zoom into Britain Britain and then you can see that uh, the former haplogroups were I and I2 and they are turned over roughly uh, between 4000 and 4500 by the red dots which is R1B uh, which I showed you in the map before something similar happens in Iberia where red R1B R1B overturns blue which is again I and I2 but in this case also H and G2 so with this map here this is associated with R and this is an older migration this is an older This is haplogroup O. It's kind of a counterpart of R that occupies, invades, turns over Western Europe and Western Eurasia. And O does pretty much the same, at least in recent times, in Asia, Southeast Asia, Indonesia, Madagascar. You can imagine R more or less like in this picture. Bronze Age is the era of R and probably of O. And this is one example, it's Sintashta, but, but it's R. It's uh, between Russia and uh, Kazakhstan. And so as I said it's related to R but this could as well represent O because I see some Asian features but they are very advanced much more advanced than haplogroup A or B in Africa which are in regions that don't even have a chance to develop that much but they have chariots, they use metals, metals for the horses also to protect them, warfare, uh, they are experts in metallurgy and as said they come in the case of haplogroup R, they come from their route and their route is in North America and R their route comes from Q that will be proven later in this videos so this is also a counterpart of R and of O is haplogroup E and differently than R and O it occupies uh, these areas of Africa which are more or less the non uh, sub Saharan regions of Africa and they push back uh, haplogroup A in more or less this region. You see that E is less present, and in this region, and you see that E is less present, and again, it's more present 
where it had most contact with Mediterranean, Western Europe, and with the Middle East and Eastern Asia. Um, as I said before, this is occupied by sea. Uh, what I will prove later is that E is not a descendant from A nor from B, it's a descendant from D. And in some way you see an indication right here, it's E, but here it's mentioned as if it comes from the group DE, which is a construction of consensus. And as you see, they are not, not the basal Africans or whatever, they are the basal Eurasians. Ancestral Western Eurasians. And they're mentioning a migration into Africa, 75,000 years BC. So in some way, you see that it is kind of a confirmation of what I said and like they almost or really claim that it comes from DE uh, D was before O so it comes from this region or from where D and O come from which is Australia and Australia comes from South America As I said, this was a non-scripted video. In this image, which are the dominant haplogroups, in fact, Y-DNA dominant haplogroups all over the world today, I show this other road out of the Americas that, uh, let's say, brings uh, Q and hybrids of Q to Australia is C, I mentioned it's a descendant of Q C descendant of Q it comes up, there's a current here it makes it's the North Pacific gyre makes this movement so while uh, or went to the North Atlantic gyre and came into Western Europe and Western Eurasia by the North Atlantic gyre. Um, this is best shown in another map. This North Atlantic gyre is best shown in this map. In this map the Americas are to the left and Eurasia is to the right Australia as well thanks a lot for watching bye